What's up, you bad motherfuckers? Welcome to the album of the week with Joey Diaz on motherfucking Patreon. It's the 28th of April. We're almost wrapped up for the motherfucking month. You know, I come up here every day, every week and do a little album of the week. Sometimes they're in order, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you do, like I did a box set for volume four, but I never did the simple album. I uh, put this album on the other night. I don't know what made me do it. I think it was Monday night or Tuesday night. Just I was writing and I figured I'd put on volume four. I got to tell you something. I love when I put on an album and I forget how good it is. I fucking love it. I love when I fucking put an album on, I'm doing shit, I'm just listening, and as I'm doing shit, I gotta stop and go, what the fuck was that? It's a great feeling. I, I mean, for me, this is what Smoking Reefer is about. This is the reason why I started Smoking Reefer. Because I love the sound of music when you get high. I love it. I love all the noises and shit you hear. When it comes to albums in my world, you know I got a lot of respect and love for these albums. I got a lot of great bands I love. I like I like everybody. I like all albums. I cheer for albums. Did you ever just cheer like you want that album to be good? Like, and sometimes they're bad. Sometimes they're tremendous. This is an album that I never really understood. Black Sabbath's got the first album, Paranoid, Master Reality, and then Volume Four. I think this album is a fucking masterpiece. I really do. I, and I thought this album was a masterpiece since I was young when I first bought it. Even when I first bought it, the first cut on side two is Snowblind. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to know that's my fucking anthem all those years doing. I would cry and do a line of and lying Snowblind in the sun. I would go to the cemetery and start and lay out in the sun. I was a fucking retard as a child, you know what I'm saying? But that still doesn't take away from the power of this album. This album was uh, recorded in 12 hours. They would record these on the road during their tours. They would stop in Tennessee or wherever the fuck they were and uh, tape these fucking albums. They're tremendous. 12 hours. They, you know, they had to do these in a rush. You didn't have the, it was the 70s. There wasn't a lot of fucking money. There was no studio time. Nobody's gonna show up with a food tray to the fucking, you know. This was down and dirty. When you listen to this album, Tony Iommi, first of all, is a great guitarist. His work with Black Sabbath, I mean, he made a sound that when you hear Iommi's guitar, you know it's Tony Iommi. I mean, it's, uh, I, I love him. I, I was in the car the other day and I heard, God is dead, you know? I only solo in that fucking blows me away too. He's a great fucking guitarist. But these deep cuts that he made like this, I don't know how to, you know, I, I guess he's the guy that had to change everything around because his index finger's missing or something like that. His two fingers have been cut. So because he learned how to play like that, it gave him a different sound. And that sound became Black Sabbath. They're the godfathers of that heavy metal sound for a reason. Let me read you the songs on this album. I mean, I don't even need to read them. I can just tell you them. It's Supernaut, St. Vitus Dance, Snowblind, Tomorrow's Dream. Let's see. Wheels of Confusion. That's the first song on side one. Tomorrow's Dream. Lee's favorite song, Changes. Fucking, <laughs> I'm going through FX and then Supernaut, which is a monster. Side two is Snowblind, Cornucopia, Laguna Sunrise, St. Vitus Dance, and Under the Sun. Every day just comes and goes like just one overall. Tremendous fucking album. If you don't have it, get this motherfucker immediately. It's a great snowing album. I don't know if you do. I don't mean to fucking pry into your business, but all jokes aside, I love this album. I, you know, Master Reality, I was scared of. Paranoid is Paranoid. Uh, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath is a fucking tank. So this is the album before Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. So these two, come on guys. These guys were on a different fucking level. Black Sabbath's Volume 4 is the album of the week. The original album, we ain't fucking around here. You know what I'm saying? And there you have it. No fucking, fu you know. It's just black in there like a fucking... That's what that looks like. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what we got for you this week. The album of the week, Black Sabbath Volume 4. Before you go out and buy it, put it on YouTube. 
and get back to me, cocksuckers. Just this explosion right here from Wheels of Confusion to fucking uh, Tomorrow's Dream. That's my fucking jam. And even over here, Snowblind, Cornuc Cornucopia has a weird sound to it. To be honest with you, Snowblind is my favorite song on the album, but Cornucopia is a fucking tight second. This out, he, he lays some fucking great lyrics on here. Anyway, I don't want to keep you motherfuckers all day. If you go to the record shop this week, it's volume four, Black Sabbath. You will not be fucking sorry. I love this cornucopia. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, it's a great jam. Stay black, have a great weekend, and I'll see you with the album of the week next week, cocksuckers.